Hey, what's up, Reefers? Very exciting time. Um, my cleanup crew from Reefs to Go just got here. Um, I placed order on, I think, Monday. Um, they shipped it out on Wednesday, and I just received it, and it's Saturday. As you can see right now, outside Maryland, actually, the weather's nice now. I think today's 60. But yesterday, uh, yeah, I think it's yesterday, and the day before, it, it dropped down to like 40s, and it actually snowed yesterday which is kind of ridiculous. So I was a little concerned because um, Reefs to go ship out the cleanup crew in um, USPS Express Mail, which is two day delivery. And I was kind of hoping that it would get here uh, last night, but um, it just arrived Saturday. So it had been in transit for like three days. But anyways, let's pop this open and take a look. I'm gonna put the camera down real quick. Okay, we can, we can look at Mac. Cutting the box open. Technically, I could edit the video, but um, yeah. All right, so I cut open two sides. Give you guys a play by play here. Opening box is really, really exciting, as if you've never done it before. Mac is probably like, what's going on? All right, so I just slice open the box. Let's take a look. Covering my address again. Um, not that you guys will visit me. So in this order, I got. Actually, let me just pull them out. And it looks like they have. Ah, uh, they don't. Do they have the chestnut snails? I'll check. All right. So basically, again, this is for my 45-gallon tank, which is overrun by um, green algae at the moment because it's cycling. Actually, it's finished cycling. Um, you can see there's a. It's like a feast waiting for the cleanup crew. Um, and check that out, I got some red algae, but I'll, I'll do a separate video for those. But without further ado, oh, come on. <laughs> so that's taped up too. Give me one more second, let me slice that open. Uh, look it back again. Whoops. Is this the worst unboxing video ever? Possibly. All right, all right, I'm back. So here we again. Um, we got a cooler and inside, no heat pack because the weather has been really nice in Maryland. It was hitting like 50s and 60s, so just the last two days. It was down to 30s and 40s, which is kind of ridiculous. So the box is nice, you know, no leaks, thank goodness. Here's a style phone box, also really good shape. Let's open that up. This is from Reefs to Go. Uh, I bought some like snails, hermit, etc. to kind of jumpstart the cleanup crew. And let's see what we got. Oh, big guy. I'm really looking forward to this guy, by the way. This is Sand Tiger Conk. And from the look of it, he looks okay. He's looking back at us. See the eye peeking out? Good stuff. Sand Tiger Conk, they do not get too big, um, not as big as a Queen Conk at least. And this is actually a decent size in comparison to the tank. So in terms of like sand stirrers, right now, um, I didn't get any Seraph snails. I went, I'm just counting on this one guy right here, uh, the Conk. So let's put him aside in the buckets. Next up, we got another Sand Tiger Conk. I guess I ordered two. I don't even remember. But these guys were on sale about $2.50 each, where in a local fish store, I sold them for $15 each. Um, so when I saw that at $2.50, I went ahead and got two. I figured I'll stick one in the sump and the one up here, and they'll kind of swap places. And once initial algae is all gone, I'll probably um, give them away or trade them away to local reavers so they do not starve. All right, next up, we got some bumblebee snails. Everything looks healthy and clean. Um, so these guys, they stay on the rocks, you know, eat like detritus and algae. They're really small, so they don't really make that big of an impact, but they just look really cool. So I figure I'd get them. And also on reefs to go, at least right now, they have a lot of um, buy one, get one free. Cost-wise, per animal, they're already kind of cheaper than some of the other bigger stores. And 
they also threw in this buy one get one free and it just becomes too good of a deal to pass up and they also they also um the shipping is also really cheap the shipping was 19 dollars for all these things this does not look good um these i think these are my atrocious snails or no these are the chestnuts chestnut snails the water looks really cloudy i'm not sure what's going on here so um i'm still gonna acclimate them and see if they survive chestnut snail suppose wait is that chestnuts actually no yeah that's the chestnut sorry i'm getting confused um, so they supposedly have the ability to kind of write themselves and a lot of people like them. So I went ahead and got it. Here's my favorite snails. Trochus. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Basically they got tiger stripes on it. Um, really active, eat a lot. I had them before and they, they're survivors in my previous tank. So again, I went with them. Did some research online as well, and um, a lot of people like these guys, so I went ahead and this will be my main LG decimation force, Trocious Snails. Alright, my camera camera battery is dying, that's why I'm kind of rushing it along. Now, we got some Scarlet Hermits. Um, I wasn't going to get any Hermit because they have a tendency to kind of attack the snails uh, for their shell. But... They just have so much character that I went ahead and ordered four, I believe. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, four. Uh, six? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I must have ordered two. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I must have ordered two, uh, which come with like two free ones, make it four, but they threw in one extra, which is cool of them. But yeah, I just enjoy watching these guys. You know, they crawl along and they're comical and they look really pretty. So I guess I just got to litter some shells around the bottom of the tank to make sure um, they do not go after the snails. But these are, these guys are really small. You may not be able to take down the snails because the snails I saw were pretty big. Last but not least, I got two more things. So I got two of these guys. Um, Purple Whip Gorgonian. This one is actually growing out of a snail shell. How interesting is that? Uh, so. I've always, I've always really liked the uh, purple gorgonians. Um, they tend to be uh, photosynthetic, and I hope this one does too. I'm counting on this one being it. Uh, what, how you can tell is that the polyps tend to be a little bit more brown in color. Um, those are the photosynthetic ones. And it looks like the skin is kind of peeling off in one of these branches, but the other ones are quite healthy, and the polyp is actually extending. Let me check the other one. The other bag is the same thing, also purple gorgonian. Um, told you I like them, right? Uh, besides, these are relatively cheap on the on the um, on the site. Reefs to go, I think it's like twelve dollars or fifteen. I don't remember. Uh, and uh, if nothing else, I can trade them with, uh, with local reefer for other items. So that would complete the order. Oh, actually, there is heat pack in here. And actually, the heat pack is still warm. So they put it like this and like this. So I feel like overall the packages are really well packaged together. Um, shipment was in transit for three days. I was kind of worried, but they all arrived in relatively good shape except for the Astria snail or chestnut snail. That bag of water is brown. Um, I'll still go ahead and acc acclimate that bag and um, see what's going on. Here it is, let's take a look at it one more time. Maybe just dirty water. Because the animal, the snails are not really drooping out like they died. Yeah, they still look okay. All right, well, these guys have been in transit for a while, so I'm gonna float the bag, get the water temperature even, and then um, I'm gonna start dripping them and get them into the tank. And once they're all settled in, I'll do another um, video update to let you guys know how they kind of settled into the tank and if they all survived. All right, exciting time. Finally, some life in the tank. How cool is that, huh? All right, until then, talk to you guys later.